everybody welcome back to another video all right guys and I want to talk to you guys about the five things I love the most about my new F90 M5. So let's start with number five. Number five, I would say, would be probably power. For some of you, that might be number one. Uh, I mean, I, I, I definitely really enjoy the power in this car. It just isn't as important to me. But I do really, really enjoy having, you know, just having over 700 horsepower at my disposal. I mean, I can just be cruising and then suddenly I decide I want to go super fast and I can just do that and then I don't have to the rest of the way the car is very very easy to control it's very easy to drive um, especially if you're just keeping everything sort of in automatic mode and you're keeping uh, the stability control on and, and, and things of that nature I mean the car is just an absolute monster like To be fair, the car is tuned on the Dynan Stage 2 map and um, as such it does have over 700 horsepower uh, which is even more than the stock F90 which only had about 615 or something like that but still, uh, even if it didn't have that, that is just stupid power, it is so <laughs> crazy like I can be at any point there's there's just never a time when I like I see a car coming up behind me and then I like don't have time to get in front of them and not impede them in any way or cause them to get on their brakes um, so yeah I mean I, I could probably say that if that was the case with the 340i as well because I never really had issues merging or anything like that with that with with the almost 400 horsepower that that car had but now with having you know nearly twice that you know that it, it, it's only it's only ever better <laughs> okay so this next thing that i want to talk about is actually going to do with the sound but not the car sound the speaker sounds because number four is the powers of walking system i cannot stress enough how amazing amazing the sound system is it also looks really cool. Uh, the this lights up. This part here also lights up. It all lights up. But not only that is that cool. I mean, we can you can make any speakers light up if you really wanted to. But the way that they sound is just unreal. Um, so in order to not you know get any copyright strikes and, and, and play you guys some some you know famous songs, I'm just gonna play a song. Uh, from artless.io which if you're looking for music clips and license licensing and maybe sometimes you want to you know pay to have a professional you know pop song licensed in your videos you can I'm gonna go ahead and, and play it and you will listen <laughs> about and bring up in this top five things I like about my BMW M5 is the interior this interior is so good between the Tartufo seats and the jet black finish it just it looks so stunning then on top of that we have the LED trim full screen carplay this fully digital cluster it all just it all just works man it all just works so well together then we can also close this 
so that it looks even more elegant. It's just so great. And then not only does it look nice, but these seats are just so comfortable. You can customize and, and, and move them in so many different ways. If you just if you just touch one of the buttons here, it's immediately going to highlight what, where your seat or which part of your seat is going to move. So I'm just highlighting different. I, I'm not even like I'm just touching them with my finger, the surface of them, and it's immediately highlighting exactly what is what's going to change, which it is just awesome. So if I choose just a headrest, I can just do that. If I want just the top part of my seat to move forward or backwards, I can just adjust that. Um, it just works so well. Then of course we have this screen down here. The touch screen uh, works great. Everything is pretty much uh, one touch. So if we want to turn on the cooling seats, we just tap that. Uh, most of these things are all single touch. And then we also have some dedicated buttons um, around here, which is which is still nice. So of course we have the cooled seats, the heated seats. We don't need the cool seats. It's pretty cold right now. Then on this side, we can turn on our massage seats. And then the massage also has lots of different options, uh, different modes between hip activation, upper body activation, whole body, so back massage, shoulder massage, lumbar massage, upper body exercise, and whole body exercise. Um, they all do different things. I uh, believe this one, it does all of the things, which is what I usually have selected. In terms of the LED color, I think that's very elegant. Uh, we can change the color. So if we want, we can change the color to, for example, bronze. And now everything will be lighting up bronze. The bronze kind of works with this interior, but then you can also do white with bronze where the top is sort of this soft white, but then down here is bronze. You can do orange. Orange doesn't look too bad. Do white. I think white looks just okay. We can do blue, which is what we usually rock. We can do white with blue, which is white here and blue down here. We can do green. I do think that green looks actually quite nice with the brown. It's a nice look. And we can do lilac, which is this purple, which also I think looks pretty nice. I mostly stick with blue, but sometimes I do switch them around depending on how I'm feeling. And then of course we have the, the heated steering wheel. And all of this combined, it just makes such a such a nice, complete package. I'm a big fan and that's why, rightfully so, it made the cut for the top five things that I love about my BMW M5. The next thing on the list are gonna be look, the looks of the car, the road presence of the car, just just what it represents when you see it on the road and, and, and everything. I have been practicing and learning a new skill, uh, which has been a part of my hobbies for some time now and that is uh, car photography. And I would be more than happy to kind of, to bring that hobby over to this channel as well. And maybe if you guys that are watching this have any interest in, you know, how to take good pictures of cars, how to take uh, pictures with the camera or with an iPhone, how to edit them uh, so that you, you get the, you know, the, you remove the worst of them and bring out the best of them. And um, yeah, I. I've been very, I've been really, really enjoying that. And with that, I've been enjoying taking pictures of this particular car because it's just so good. It is just unlike any other car. Um, the way that it looks in the road, it looks like it's basically eating the road. It is so stable. And in the pictures, it just looks stunning. It looks so, so badass. And it's, uh, especially being a black car. But here are some of the pictures that I've taken of this car uh, that, that are my favorites. So let me know what you think and if you'd like, um, and if you'd like me to, to bring more content about, about car photography. Last, and most certainly not the least, in fact, the last and the best, is the sound of the exhaust on this car. I'm in Sport Plus and I can turn the valves, close the valves, and it's just not, doing anything I mean it's not making a huge ruckus so here is second gear pull right pretty quiet but then turn this on 
and do that same thing. It's just so much different suddenly. <laughs> I'm gonna play you a, a clip from one of my uh, mountain cruises where I mounted the GoPro on the back of the car so you can really hear what this exhaust sounds like under you know full load and, and, and everything. It is monstrous, it is so good. We are now going to listen to some revs in different modes. And we also have the M2 button. The M2 button, what it'll do, essentially when I press it, it will ask me, and then it will turn DSC off. And what that allows us to do is turn on two wheel drive. So we can turn the power to only the rear wheels. So what that means is that if you really want to, you can just, you can just slide it around I'm not very good at it because I'm a bit, of, uh, a bit of a scaredy cat since I've never really owned a vehicle that they can just slide around like that easily, especially not with 700 horsepower and 700 pound feet of torque. That's crazy. I try to drive in two wheel drive mode often so that I become a little bit more familiar with it, a little bit more comfortable with it. but. I still am pretty uh pretty scared but guys those are the five things that i absolutely love on my f90 m5 let me know in the comment section what do you think what are your favorite things about the f90 m5 do you have one are you looking to get one are you dreaming to someday get one what would be the five things that you're looking forward to the most anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you're enjoying this m5 content that we're bringing you i hope to have only more of it uh, some big things on the horizon. I cannot wait to share with you. Please like share and subscribe Bye